Hello and welcome back to another website building tutorial by TypeDream. Today, I'll be walking you through our content management system by rebuilding TypeDream's blog. When you're putting together something like a blog which requires frequent updates, a large volume of content or post, and a reproducible format, a CMS is a great way to save time on the publishing end. To use CMS on TypeDream, you're going to need two things, a Notion database and a subscription to TypeDream's Pro plan. The Notion database is where you'll be adding your entries, the input to our system. In our context, we're going to create new blog articles there. For the output or results, you will see two things automatically added to your pages directory once you run the database through CMS. The first is a collection homepage. This is what site visitors will see, the final product. The second is the item pages. The item page view is where you will get to make changes to each individual entry, such as editing rich text content, metadata, slugs, and so on. Now that we know the lay of the land, let's dive right into creating this blog. First things first, let's set up our Notion database. I have one here pre-made and populated with a few blog articles for the sake of time. Typically for a blog, you'll have columns like name, description, date published, category, and image for the cover. Note that there will be additional columns automatically added to this database when we run it through CMS. No action will be required on your part, just leave them be. But how do we connect the Notion database to TypeDream? Start by creating a new collection on TypeDream by typing slash collection or clicking on new collection. Log into Notion and select the pages you want to share with TypeDream. If you're creating a Notion database from scratch like we're doing here, you can skip step one. Now, go to the Notion page and in the top right corner, click on Share, then Invite and select the TypeDream integration. Now when we hit Refresh, we should see our blog table there. In our documentation, which I have included the links to in the description of this video, you can learn about how to duplicate a template table instead of creating your own Notion database. Next, we will determine how our collection view will look. Don't worry, you can always change this later. There's an array of preset templates here, and you can even preview how it'll look like with real data by clicking on the Preview Data tab. For each template, there will be predetermined fields, and we'll need to tell the CMS which column in our Notion database corresponds to which field on TypeDream. A lot of times, the CMS will predict and automatically match the columns. The last step is to select an item page template. An item page is, in our context, a full-blown article. So when you click on a block in a collection, you'll be redirected to the block article, which is the item page. Similar to the previous step, you'll select the template and map the fields. But let's say, hypothetically, that you're creating something other than a blog that you might not necessarily need a detailed item view page on, like simple directory of crypto resources or links. That's okay. You can always link an item in the collection to an external link later. That's all there is to creating the collection. So you should now see a collection homepage and a collection item page. On any other page, you can also add this collection of blog articles by typing slash collection. You just go through the process of selecting a collection view and item page view templates again. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll make modifications to our collection.